Hi, this is George Holney, and I'm going to talk about today prepaids and advances. So I'm going to walk you through how we can do an advance on a customer contract. So let's say you have a customer contract that you're doing a purchase um, from this customer and you want to give them an advance. Here's a quick way to perform an advance. Um, this is on a priced contract. We also have a way to do basis contracts, but I'm going to go on a priced contract. So I went ahead and entered the price contract and this thing has been set, entered and approved. If you know to my table, this is went through approval process. Again, not necessary, but you could use it. Now, after I've entered the contract, I'm going to say, oh, I'm going to make this one a prepaid. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the prepaid button, and that's going to queue up a prepaid for me. You'll note it's taken all the information from the contract with all the details of who the producer was, what the bushels were, all the information, and queued it up for a prepaid. Now, you have the option for it to automatically select the contract sequence, or you can pick the contract sequence that you like. So I'm going to pick the item corn and I'm going to advance off the corn. Again, if I'm multiple commodities, I might want to pick on the prepaid. It's telling me my contract balance is 1,000. How many would I like to advance to them? I can do a percentage or I can do all 1,000 or I can do 80. I can also prepaid by a standard unit or a percentage. So uh, we're going to do a unit which says every unit that I price, I'm going to want to take a prepaid of three dollars and 25 cents now what that means is when a payment comes across the gate for an actual transaction on this prepayment it's going to take 325 off the advance and apply the remaining to the payable so i basically entered that transaction and again now i'm just going to go through quickly um, my payment workflow so first i'm going to save this transaction and now from here i can post this transaction so that basically that part of it recognized the accrual that I now have committed to pay the vendor this advance, right? So that transaction's now out there. And I'm going to go ahead and pay that transaction. That's going to create um, a pay voucher detail for me, um, which basically says, okay, I'm going to pay this corn prepayment of $325,000. And again, this can be done in bulk. We're doing it straight one off as if it was a one time payment. I'm going to click on pay. That's going to bring me to my check printing screen. Um, the, if I have rights and I have authority, I can do this. If I don't have rights, I don't have authority. I cannot do it. I'm going to go ahead now and print checks. And, and, and basically, this is going to go ahead and print a check with the detail from a maker perspective of what I'm paying here. And it's going to show me details of the prepayment with all the details of how I'm paying that transaction. So you'll note here that I'm making vendor prepayment 60 and I'm buying corn, right? And it's going to be a unit prepaid and I'm going to take a thousand and 3,125 is my total advance. You'll note here that I've integrated with our uh, Oprah <laughs> signing. This is an electronic signature. So you'll note here's a signature electronically inserted in the check. We um, kind of blur these so that you can't um, try and cash this check. Uh, but this would allow you to actually hook a signature to a check and then print a maker check, which can be cashed inside the system. This can also be a paid ACH. But as simple as that, I've actually created a prepayment. And now when a payment comes in to charge against that prepayment, it'll be automatically offset. So that's an easy way to do a prepayment or a vendor advance inside of our system. Hope this helps you.